Hey there YouTubers, this is Kevin from The Bat Productions and today we're going to be talking about the most maligned character to hold the Captain America shield so far in the Marvel Cinematic Universe. That's including Bucky Barnes when he was a Winter Soldier and that is John Walker. Now if you haven't seen up to episode 4 The Falcon and the Winter Soldier, you're probably going to want to stop this video because I'm going to be talking about it a little bit. So again, spoiler alert for anyone who's not seen up to episode 4 so far. Alright, so getting into the video, we're going to be talking about the tragedy of John Walker, as I like to call it. This is the guy that has been elected as Captain America by the government themselves. I know if you're like me as a viewer, you have seen this guy pop up on screen as the new Captain America, and you have looked at him constantly over the past four episodes going, you're not my real dad, over and over and over again, and you say, you're not Steve Rogers, and you get mad at him. You get really annoyed when you see his face on screen, whether he's got the little cap and mask on or not. But. I've come to realize after the fourth episode when he did the most vicious thing, which was decapitating, well, almost decapitating, a flag smasher. To look at him maliciously, to look at him with hate, saying this is something Steve Rogers would never ever do. And I've decided instead to realize that he is the most tragic and sympathetic character so far on the television show. And I'm going to take some time and explain to you why I think that he is, and why eventually there will be a time where we will love this character, but for right now, we should be giving him a lot more sympathy than we are. Obviously, let's not delude ourselves into thinking that these two characters are comparable. They're not. I mean, you can take a look at these two massive clips and you can see the difference between what Steve Rogers would do and what John Walker would do when presented with the same exact scenario, or at least mostly the same exact scenario. In a similar opportunity, although I know Steve Rogers was fighting his best friend, or arguably his best friend at the time in Tony Stark, as opposed to John Walker is fighting a Flag Smasher that means nothing to him, and just got done being part of a group that murdered his friend Battlestar. When given the opportunity, Steve Rogers thought it was best to disarm. However, John Walker had it all get to him and he decided, I need to kill this person. Not only need to kill this person, there are people around, it was a public spectacle, and he still did it. And that's the difference between these two. We are supposed to hate John Walker for the things he's done. What he's done in the uniform and when he has had it slightly off talking to our main heroes, Sam Wilson and Bucky Barnes. He comes off as cocky, he comes as if he is the high school quarterback jock that has done great his whole life, and that's because he has, and he was. Reliving the glory days. He was all of those things, and Steve Rogers never was. Basically, all of his attitudes and behaviors we have framed at this point in the show to say, Steve Rogers would never do these things. This is why you're unworthy of Captain America. This is why we agree with Bucky and Sam saying that shield should be taken back from John Walker, and one of them should probably hold it. Again, when I start off, Steve Rogers and this guy are so different. Steve Rogers was the size of a house cat when he got the Super Soldier Serum and became a really kind of a propaganda piece before he was actually a useful soldier within the American Army. Whereas this guy, John Walker, is already a useful soldier. He is off the charts physically and off the charts mentally. This dude is hurling Captain America's shield without any serum. He is just an extremely amazing human being. And he has been a member of the military in a very heroic manner. Even though it was a horrifying manner, it was still one that was very impressive for the military. So obviously these are very different beginnings of these characters, but they both had the mantle thrust upon them in a way that they didn't necessarily plan for. And now now, there is a lot of respect and responsibility that comes with it. Back in the 1940s, it was a new thing. It's different. People looked at it kind of more as a joke and as a role to sell some war bonds. However, Captain America, what Steve Rogers did through all the time, through the 40s up until Avengers Endgame, you know that he is a hero that was responsible for the Earth being where it is. And think about the role that John Walker has to step into. He has to step into the boots of Captain America that just did all this. So they expect you to do more world saving things and he doesn't even have super soldier serum he again probably is being used as a propaganda piece but the bar is so much higher i feel terrible for him he didn't ask to be a hero all he's really ever asked for and worked toward is helping people and i think that's illustrated really well in this clip here you've always wanted to be a hero i liked that what i was doing would make people feel safe 
Steve Rogers was the kind of guy who could do that. He gave me hope. For the most part, I think he's actually done a good job of being Captain America in a way. It's really a symbol no matter what. The shield, I think, is what it stands for. I have one in my apartment right now on my wall behind me because I love what the shield stands for. And I think that's what it stands for for America within the television show. He is a hero, that is true, but he wasn't trying to be Captain America. And unfortunately, he has to hold up that standard. Everybody in the world expects me to be something and i don't want to fail them and while holding up that standard he did some things that make him look like a jerk to people who watch the television show like when he grabs a villain by the chest and goes do you know who i am that makes him look like a jerk but frankly this dude is freaking out he has to somehow maintain the respect of steve rogers with super soldier serum who's done all these great heroic things on an international level and also an intergalactic level at this point how does he compete with that so he's freaking out a little bit okay that's very human i think that he could be freaking out about it i would be doing worse he's just a good soldier he was asked by the united states government we want you to be captain america and as a good ideal soldier he has followed up and he's doing what he feels is best to help his country because his country is saying this is what you can do to best help us by being the symbol of captain america when Steve Rogers is absent and his mind is being messed with. He's never had to be Captain America before. John Walker is facing just a, an absurd mountain to climb and he has heroes that are mad at him for being given this role when he's genuinely a hero and kind of a nice guy. I would be losing my mind. But we as the viewers are supposed to see him as a jerk in all of this because we are the ones who are supporting our main protagonist in Sam Wilson and Bucky Barnes. And because Sam and Bucky are unhappy with what's going on with the whole giving the shield to John Walker behind their back, They're, we're supposed to hate him as a result. But really, if you look at his actions, he has pretty much only done things that we should support. Is he a little aggressive about things? Yes, I think he's got an inferiority complex at the moment. That is true. Do you know who I am? But don't we all at some point or another in our lives, and I've never even been given Captain America's shield and expected to take down terrorists. Like here's one of the first interactions between our main heroes and John Walker. Does it look like he did anything wrong that they should be upset with him about? John Walker goes out of his way, helps Sam and Bucky as they're fighting Flag Smashers on top of some freaking moving trucks, all right? And guess what happens after? This is the clip that happens in their, their direct interactions right afterwards. That didn't go as planned, huh? Okay. Let's keep going. Look, at least we know what we're up against now, huh? I mean, we're pretty sure it's one of the big three. Sam and Bucky are jerks to him in Battlestar, and they didn't do anything wrong. All right, well then we gotta work together. That's not happening. I think we stand a much better chance if we all just- Just because you carry that shield, it doesn't mean you're Captain America. And listen to the language that John Walker is using right now. He's saying, we need to go after them. We need to stick together. We need to get our plans together. If they're using we language. If John Walker was truly the monster that we as the viewers are being tricked into thinking of him as, that he would be saying, I, I need this from you. I need your help to get this done. I need everything you got because I am in charge of you. And he's not doing that. He's saying we, 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 we. Even though his mind is all over the place, he still has the mindset of a soldier, a band of brothers. And Bucky and Sam are resistant to it because he is not Steve Rogers. But again, he didn't ask for this in the end. His country asked him to serve, and that's what Steve Rogers would have done as well. Now, episode four is a really interesting episode as far as the tragedy of John Walker. Definitely the most important one so far. He has found out that this guy who has been off the charts physically his whole life. You tested off the charts in every measurable category, speed, endurance. John Walker, the hero, the MVP of nearly every group he's been a part of, he decided to tangle with the Dora Milaje. He realized that even people who have not been enhanced by Super Soldier Serum, the Dora Milaje from Wakanda, he couldn't compete. And that was the end of it all for him. They weren't even Super Soldier. That's where he picked up a little vial of Super Soldier Serum and he put it in his little pouch right before that. But he wasn't sure if he was going to actually use it. He's contemplating using it because he's afraid it's going to mess with his mind. They indicated that he ended up taking the vial of Super Soldier Serum. They didn't show it. They just made it pretty clear considering he was booting people through doors and they were flying about 20 feet. 
but it is still not proven. Part of me thinks that he didn't take the super soldier serum, and instead it broke in his little leg pouch during the fight with the Dora Milaje, and it ended up seeping through his skin. Because I'm not sure that he's bad enough and power hungry enough that he wanted to take the serum. Clearly, it got in there somehow, or he just got somehow four times stronger, but it seems as though it's in there, and I'm very interested to see how that moves forward, because I think the only way we are truly going to like and embrace his character is if he gives back the shield, drops the mantle of Captain America, and he can move on as someone else with another moniker. US Agent is open, and probably a good idea for you comic book fans out there, but until that time, we are not going to like a character who is genuinely interested in helping people. He doesn't like the fanfare of being Captain America. It's been a lot of handshakes, a lot of suits, a lot of speeches and senator meetings. And I just want to do the job. He is a soldier who has been very heroic. He's very physically gifted. He only thinks about working with other people to solve a problem with common enemies and common goals, but we will not like him because the shadow of Steve Rogers still exists. And that's why I think the tragedy of John Walker is my favorite storyline so far in the Falcon and the Winter Soldier. Maybe even, maybe even better than anything that happened on WandaVision, and I loved WandaVision. But that's gonna do it for this video. If you liked it, please leave a comment down below and let me know about any other Marvel uh, videos you would like me to do. I would love to do more about this topic because I just, I love what's going on in the Falcon and the Winter Soldier at the moment. And uh, pretty much anything they put out in TV is, is a total banger. Between WandaVision, Falcon and the Winter Soldier, and Loki will probably be very good as well. Who doesn't love Tom Hiddleston? Let me know, and I would love to hear from you. Also, remember to like this video. It helps out my channel greatly. And of course, hit the subscribe button for me as well because uh, it helps me out incredibly toward my goal to 100,000 subscribers, which is so far away, but so close. Otherwise, hope you have an amazing day, everybody. You take care. Goodbye, soldiers.